Headlines for you today, Novavax has asked FDA, the FDA to authorize its protein-based COVID-19 vaccine. This one is for adults, and the vaccine is already available for use in at least 170 countries. But if cleared for emergency use here in the United States, it would provide an alternative to the popular mRNA-based shots from Pfizer, BioNTech, and Moderna. Now, for certain groups of people, particularly young men, the mRNA vaccines carry a slightly elevated risk of a heart condition. It's called myocarditis. Novavax's vaccine has not been linked to this condition. The vaccine could be authorized as early as February. Another news this afternoon, a teenager is in critical condition after being hit by a car in Warren. It happened early this morning on Van Dyke in between eight and nine mile. Police say the 15 year old boy was running across the street or across Van Dyke when he was hit by an SUV. The driver did stop and police are investigating, but they do not believe the drugs or alcohol played a role. And a woman is found in extremely critical condition in the parking lot of a Detroit school. Police say the woman was spotted near Fisher Magnet Upper Academy, right near Seven Mile and Hayes on the city's east side. It happened before the start of school just yesterday. They say that they've not said how she was hurt and they're still trying to identify this woman. The Detroit Public Schools Community District says the campus is safe and this is not related to the school. Secretary of State Jocelyn Benson is asking the Attorney General to look into comments that were made by a Livingston County candidate for state Senate. How will Republican Mike Detmer encourage voters to, quote, show up armed and, quote, be prepared to lock and load to protect poll watchers? Now, he made the comment at a campaign event for Ryan Kelly, a candidate for governor, and it came after somebody suggested Republicans had been pushed out of the TCF Center in Detroit, where absentee ballots were counted after the presidential election. Detmer says that he was specifically answering a question about vote counters, but Benson says that this sounds like a threat to voters. I think that when you're uh, arguing